Now we're going to do a story that we know no other TV station in the market has done. Why? Well, because we're unique and we like to dive into issues that we know that many of you care about because we care about them too. And this goes back to early last week when Governor Kotex downtown task force released its recommendations to revitalize downtown. We're not going to go through all of those again. You can find them that story on the KGW YouTube channel, but they focused on drugs, treatment, the homeless, police, trash, taxes, kind of covered the gamut there. But remember, those recommendations are just that, recommendations. Nothing is set in stone, so to speak, and many require action from government on the local level as well as the state legislature. Many of the presentations last Monday at the Oregon Business Plan Leadership Summit centered around Portland's reputation recently. If we're trying to market our city, if we're trying to lead the comeback, if we're trying to create a narrative that is positive, that turns the tide on the reputational damage this city has suffered over the last several years, then why on earth would anybody in this room fund a program that puts building-sized billboards throughout our downtown that says homelessness, increased crime, drugs, are a scourge in our city. Nothing tells me we've lost more than when a group of out-of-town convention advocates stands in front of one of those billboards and takes a selfie. How is that helpful? It's not. So let's take our dollars and let's invest in positive messaging, or at least, at least, can we please invest in accurate messaging? Obviously, the mayor referring to these billboards from the group People for Portland. They take aim at Multnomah County District Attorney Mike Schmidt and County Chair Jessica Vega Peterson, laying the blame on those elected leaders for many of Portland's problems. After the mayor's shout out of sorts during the business summit, the People for Portland group sent its supporters an email about the billboard saying, well, they must be working. Wheeler actually blamed a billboard for causing Portland's problems, not failed leadership, politicians or policies. A billboard it takes a pretty desperate politician to blame a billboard for the reality that exists around it. Now, to be fair, the mayor did not necessarily blame the billboard for causing the problems, but certainly made the point that they're not helping. Following the business summit, Governor Kotek doubled down. We need to be doing what Travel Portland is planning to do, which is to try to um, repair the reputation of Portland because we want people to visit, right? That's going to take everyone. The one piece that was very, you know, at my closing remarks this morning, people have to do something. And I'm going to be asking them, what are you doing? Are you supporting that coffee shop in your building who's going to go out of business because your people aren't there? Are you volunteering? Are your folks going to go out and pick up trash? Are you talking to your national networks who are saying, huh, I wonder when our next convention should be, and saying, you should come to Portland because Portland is changing and Portland is the place you want to be. This is, it's, it's more soft than those really hard things. Um, it's everybody saying and being positive about where Portland is. And I'll be very frank, people should stop paying for billboards that trash our city and actually talk about how the city is coming around. Well, I, I think Tim Boyle is going to spend his money differently. So. All right, don't you just love politics? Columbia Sportswear CEO Tim Boyle is who they were talking about. He's been outspoken about downtown's challenges. And as it turns out, he is spending some of his money in a different way. Not on billboards, but on graffiti and trash cleanup. 